Yes, sir. Yeah, you thought we'd do, oh, let's do another Skyline or a tuner car. Nah. Let's switch the game up. We're pulling uh, it in the shop right now. This is literally, you guys, this is literally the last time this thing's gonna move under its own power with a Toyota engine. A V6, a naturally aspirated motor, under 300 horsepower, under 600 horsepower, under 1,000 horsepower. Stock motor, obviously. Leaf spring rear end. Dude, the next time it moves, on its own. All right, I'm gonna stop, dude. This is the last time we're gonna drive this thing. Blast this. Let's get some of this first. Go ahead. We're in Arizona. It's 106 degrees, and so we thought, we were planning this, and we thought, hey, you know, what better time to start this project than when it's like 106 degrees out, really like 110. Oh! I gotta do it one more time, okay? <laughs> this is, this is crazy, dude. I've done a lot of projects, you guys, but I don't know why, like, maybe it's just with the world, how it is, but like, ah, oh, this is just crazy. That's it. It's the last time you hear this motor run. Rip those bags off, show them what we're doing. Now! Mind you, this is just the mock-up motor. This is just the mock-up motor. It looks fairly similar to, I mean, fairly. It's gonna be yellow, red, and blue, but this is an RB25 DET Neo, big old turbo, all the crap and corruption on it. But you know what we're putting in? An RB30, you guys. We're putting in an RB30. So we're using an RB25 Neo head with an RB30 bottom end, fully built top to bottom race motor. It'll be built for 1500 horsepower. And we're putting a massive, I think it's the GT40 series turbo. I'll verify that when we go over like all our parts. It should make somewhere in the 1200 range a full on race build. Like I, I, I <laughs> will be incredibly disappointed if that thing does not do wheelies. Just know that again, this is a mock up motor. The real motor is coming, but we're going to use this to build the engine mounts, transmission mounts, and get it fairly fitted. They're very similar. I think the RB30 is just gonna be slightly taller. I think the deck is like a inch taller, so. But everything else, very similar. This would be a great mock-up motor. I think, let's get started with uh, pulling the motor out. That works. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I drive an 07 4Runner, and that's the exact motor that goes in my truck. So this whole project gives me a perfectly good spare just... in the event that I go over 300K in that thing. So because this thing's so tall, we're gonna get it on the lift, take the wheels off, lower the whole rig down so you can pull the motor out. Take what? a good look at the motor. It's the last time this thing's gonna be in here. Oh, I've seen enough. Let's do this. Ooh, a squeeze there. Ooh. Suspension. So update, we got a bunch of the junk off the top out of the way, intake, all that crap, the kind of uh, engine cage, the radiators out, fans off. Get in there pretty close and we'll be able to tear this puppy out.
If you're wondering why we're literally taking like everything off, everything is getting replaced. We're putting all new coolers on, a uh, different radiator, gonna have an intercooler obviously. But um, yeah, so we're just taking everything out kind of as we're going along. I'm thinking next episode we will do kind of an overview. I haven't figured out yet. I don't know if we wanna do an overview on like everything we're doing on the truck or if we should just do that as we go along, kind of learn what we're gonna do besides the motor because there's we're rebuilding the whole truck. What are you doing? We're rewiring the whole truck, so screw all this wiring. Go ahead and just snip through this real quick. I've done this before. Yeah, it always pans out okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> oh! Stock Pretty cool in here though. We are linking the truck. We've been uh, wanting to do it for a while and that's like literally the only thing stopping this truck from being like full on crazy race truck, which it already is, but when we link it, we should have like 32 inches of travel in the rear, so that should be super sick. The front's already obnoxious. And check out the front. Crazy. Say goodbye to the V6. You're out of here. Don't do it. Hey. This thing has to go so high. It's scary. Use your muscles. Hang on. Hang on. I need a better place to step. <laughs> oh. Yeah! Don't try us at home.
It's like slightly terrifying actually. Look at all the room for activities in there. <laughs> We're rewiring the whole truck. The motor is gonna have its own engine harness and connect to the ECU and all it will need is power for that to all run and work. So we're not gonna have much junk up here. And then the chassis, we're gonna wire super simple race truck shit, you know? So I'm just gonna cut this off. Engine bay, pretty cleaned out. Before we get going any further, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the truck for those of you who aren't familiar with it. So yes, it's a 2006 Toyota Tacoma pre-runner. It's actually a pre-runner though, but it was also the pre-runner model. So it has long travel, front and rear. It's a solo motorsports front. And then the rear is a giant link killer, still a leaf setup. And it just had the stock V6 with like an intake and exhaust basically. It's pretty much stock power. If you have any off-road experts, drop some knowledge on us below in the comments about like what exact class but this was a full race truck it has like window nets and everything you can see but oh there we go so yeah you can put window nets all that crap in but um suspension seats five point belts all that stuff so this truck's been like around in some of the videos you guys can check those out in our off-roading playlist I bought this truck with litecoin if you guys know don't know what that is uh look it up it's cool so it's it's a cousin of bitcoin essentially but i bought this truck with litecoin and it really was just for going to glamis doing off-roading and then it became my daily driver it was the only car you own with <laughs> air, with air conditioning <laughs> yeah so the reason being it had ac we haven't done like a build breakdown on this thing really you guys are going to learn about it as we go through the videos and then see kind of the changes we're making but what's cool is we're starting with fully built platform in some ways and just taking it to a whole nother level. The plan is we have kind of made our stamp on the drifting world and we're continuing to do so, right? But we want to branch out, right? So we do comedy, we do acting, we do all these other things, fashion and music heavily as well. But there's one obvious place we haven't gone and that's off-roading. The JDM pre-runner, 1200 horsepower, RB30. We're gonna make our stamp on the off-roading community. We're just gonna go have a bunch of fun, go out to Glamis, Pismo Beach. Comment below where you guys wanna see us at. Probably travel with this thing, do a bunch of fun stuff with it. Throw on the flatbed behind the rig. And yeah, that's pretty much the plan with this. Just a fun truck. I don't think we'll fit in any race category. So I don't know if we'll race this truck, but I think it puts us in trophy truck category with like all the modifications. So I, I think don't- it's gonna be full cage. They're, we're gonna pull up in this thing. They're like, what? What are you guys doing? Can we race? You guys need to just calm down. Doing like a Mint 400 style race would just be fantastic. We had planned on doing it in this truck before we started doing this build and yeah. Matt, Matt and I were gonna run the Mint. So we just signed with a motorsports agent. So he's gonna be helping us get big partnerships and run other series. So we're like, we're pumped up, like potentially rally. We're looking at rally. We're looking at trophy trucks, uh, stadium trucks, drifting, obviously drag racing, maybe even some road racing. So we may not be driving some of our vehicles. We may just do like arrive and drive type stuff. Do you want to show them what it's going to sound like and look like in there? Why don't you be the RB? <laughs> J-Mo power. All right. So actually check us out. So J-Mo got this all hooked up again. This is the mock-up motor. So this is the RB25 Neo, but uh, size-wise and shape, they're very similar. So we'll be using this to get like engine mounts, transmission mounts, and then we're probably gonna move on to some of the other stuff on the truck before we get the motor. You guys know, if you're, if you're new here, you may not know, but we are men of our words. Like when we say we're gonna do something, we do it. So this motor is going in and it will operate. I see a lot of YouTubers start engine swaps just for like the clout, not what we're doing. We want you guys to follow along. This is gonna be nuts. Yeah, if you guys don't know, this freaking engine hoist like can't go over a pebble. Yeah, can carry 4,000 pounds, but can't run over a zip tie. <laughs> Oof. It's a squeeze, dude. No, we're just we're close. Like we can tilt it some. So one of these Back days, down. I'll stop talking about the heat, but we have to turn the air conditioning off whenever we film and want audio, and it, it gets even hotter. <laughs> hey, we should make t-shirts. Like ah! If you guys didn't know, it's still hot. I'm just wondering if we can bend that. I think if, if we just, if we can get this bolt, or this like one little nub, right there. there. And then, I'm gonna let it rest. It's too long, it's not gonna happen. Just kidding. Take it out. Matt, get it out of there. If you guys didn't know, uh, these didn't come with inline sixes. So. All right, so we just decided we're going uh, transverse front wheel drive. I mean, imagine this thing in the in the dunes. 
Now I feel like it can come straight on me. So Ready? One, two, three. Dude, this is happening. I'm like... It's in there. I couldn't sleep last night. Dude, it's gonna fit so well. We have no... Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, in all reality, at this point, you just wanna go back some. But like... I mean... It's super low right now. <laughs> yeah, it can come up even. Man. And then go back. Yeah, come up a little bit, and then let's let's go back and kind of... Do like something like that, then. Yeah. There's so much room! I mean, like, right there, dude. We're gonna have to, if, if we could sit it similar to this spot. It's sitting in the engine bay right now. Let's flip this camera around. Yes, sir. Boys and girls. Dude, oh my god, it's sick. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. So, um, I know I keep saying this, but I just want you guys to remember this is the mock-up motor. I believe the exhaust manifold we're gonna have is gonna seat the turbo back, back further, and the turbo's gonna be way bigger, but honestly, like, first impressions, it fits unbelievably well. Like, lengthwise, look at this. So we're, I mean, we're against the firewall literally here, so we're gonna have to come off a little bit, but look at, like, all the room up here. God, you guys gotta stay tuned for all the details. Well, it's a turbo. <laughs> it's yeah. It's going somewhere. Um, but, like, there's just ungodly amount of room. It's it's crazy. And the final motor will be similar sized, so. But yeah, even if we go like under here, I don't know if you guys can see very well, but um, ah, it's hard to get in there. So it's sitting on block, as you can see on the oil pan, but like that's on top of the rack. So plenty of room down there. I mean, we can even come a little bit lower if we really want, but I mean, it's in a, Fairly close to the final position, but I think that'll make it a bit easier to work on having it. Look how rad it looks! <laughs> you just come like, oh my god, it's too sick. All right, guys. Well, if we have not won your subscription, then I don't know what we're gonna have to do to do that. So help this video goes viral, blows up the YouTube channel. We're gonna be doing bi-weekly updates on this build until it's finished, and we're gonna be working our off to get this thing done um, as soon as we can. I don't want to give you guys any promises, but we are really looking to have it done for this winter and to be able to go to Glamis and all that stuff. Pending that all that stuff's open, but um, see you guys in a couple days. Yes, please subscribe. Leave some comments. Let, you, let us know if you guys are pumped on this. You're surprised. I hope you all are. Thanks so much for all love. Peace out.